When integrating a function using a Riemann sum, you proceed along the function in nice steady increments, and if you want to make the result more accurate, you simply take smaller steps. A Riemann sum works well if your function is nice and smooth and lives in just one or two dimensions, but Riemann sums are difficult to use on a jagged function and become very inefficient if your function extends to several dimensions or more. When a Riemann sum doesn't provide you with the accuracy or performance you need, Monte Carlo integration provides a reliable alternative. The idea behind Monte Carlo integration is this. First, you draw a rectangle around the function you want to integrate. Then, you start selecting random points inside that rectangle. Along the way, you keep track of the number of points that fall underneath the function. If you use lots of random points, then you can estimate the integral as the number of points that fell underneath the function divided by the total number of points and multiplied by the area of the rectangle. The more random points you generate, the more accurate your answer will be. In this code, which is available in a link in the description below, we're using the Monte Carlo method to evaluate the integral of e to the negative x squared from negative 10 to 10. Here, we set the size of our rectangle. The minimum and maximum values for x are the integration bounds, and the minimum and maximum values for f encompass the function we're integrating. Then, we set up a loop to select random points given by random values of x and f. For a review of how to generate random numbers, see the video linked in the description below. If the randomly selected f is less than the value of the function at the randomly selected x, then we increase the number of points found under the function by 1. Finally, we calculate our integral as a fraction of the area of the rectangle. This next code demonstrates how we extend the Monte Carlo method to multiple dimensions. Instead of implementing additional loops like with a Riemann sum, we simply select additional random coordinates and modify the calculation of the integral. This absence of loops within loops makes it more efficient to extend the Monte Carlo method into higher dimensions. You should now be able to use a computer to evaluate the integral of a function using the Monte Carlo method. Use the codes in the links in the description below to evaluate the following integrals. Explore how changing the number of points affects the resulting integral.